Hi, my name is Karen Horn, and I work here at Worcester Youth and Family Counseling Center in Berlin, Maryland. And we're here today to give you a little video that maybe you can use to help you and your family shine. We've had a lot of people calling in with children looking for counseling who are struggling with anxiety. And as we know, and we see on social media and on the news, there's also a mental health pandemic right now. And so anxiety is very heightened especially when a parent is anxious themselves with everything going on, it can be hard to figure out how to help your child through that. So in the meantime, one of the things that you know we might recommend and that a lot of us do at home as well with our children is read some social and emotional books. So some examples of some anxiety-based books are Wilma Jean, The Worry Machine by Julia Cook. There you go. But What If by Sue Graves and Ruby Finds a Worry, which is the book we'll be reading today by Mr. Tom Percival. And so we're going to go ahead and read Ruby Finds a Worry today. Wilma Jean was going to be what I read, and then I realized it's probably too long to read on a YouTube video. But these are really great books, and also mentioning that, you know, sometimes we as parents have anxiety or we're feeling stressed or rushed or have to be somewhere at a certain time. Another good book recommendation is The Grouchy Mom. It's a children's book by Rebecca Ventry, and it is written from the perspective of the child. Um, but you see the mom's perspective through the whole thing. So it's a great book for using for talking prompts to increase empathy between yourself and your child. And also it tends to ground the mom. Okay, so Ruby Finds a Worry will be what we read today. And I'll try my best to hold it so you can see it. No guarantees there. Ruby Finds a Worry. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high. And she loved to explore far away places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day. She discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. So we'll see that yellow blob there. That's the worry. In fact, it was so small that at first we hardly noticed it. But then the worry started to grow. Each day, it got a little bigger. It just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast, staring at her over her cereal box. And it was still there at night when she brushed her teeth. The funny thing was, that no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teacher. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. She tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it just wasn't. The worry was always there, stopping her from doing the things that she loved. Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realize it. But she was doing the worst thing you could ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it.
Now the worry was enormous. It could barely fit at the kitchen at dinner time. It filled up half the school bus. And it took up whole rows at the movie theater. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about, and it seemed like she would never feel happy again. Then, one day, something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park. He looked how she felt, sad. And then she noticed something else, something hovering next to him. Could it be a worry? It was. Ruby realized that she wasn't the only person with a worry after all. Other people had them too. She asked the boy what was on his mind. And as he told her, the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink. Then Ruby did the best thing you can ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it. As the words tumbled out, Ruby's worry began to shrink and shrink and shrink until it was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were gone. Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. that wasn't the last time she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, they never hung around for long. The end. So this is a quick, easy book that you can read with your child starting even at probably age two and a half or so. Um, and depending, of course, on your child's attention. And then you can reference that book if your child seems upset about something or seems worried but isn't talking about it. You can say, what did we learn from the book Ruby Finds a Worry? What helped her worry get smaller? And they'll be able to put that together since it's so clear in the book and so easy to do. And um, that can instigate that conversation and they could talk about that worry and you could talk it through with them and validate how they're feeling before solving the problem. So that's a good option, but what if? And Will Magine the Worry Machine. So we hope that these help you and your family shine and we'll talk to you soon. Have a good day.